Hi everybody, it's Crash Test, and today I'm bringing you a pub stomp. That's right, I haven't given up on pub stomps to go completely game battles. I still love a good pub stomp now and then. Tonight I'm bringing you some gameplay from Enticing Daryl, one of the members of WBIS, which stands for Which Button Is Shoot? That's the website. Um, that's a uh, you know a clan that I've been on for quite a while, but dating back to Modern Warfare 2. And uh, I think it's safe to say that they are pub stomping experts. There's only two of them in this game, um, but uh, you know. Every single time when I get in a lobby with these guys, it is just brain off, completely steamroll. Like, there's no need for call-outs, there's no need for anything at all, because these guys have just got gun skill like you wouldn't believe. And, uh, how does, uh, how does Woody put it? They shoot laser beams out of their eyeballs? Well, yeah. These guys are, oh, now using a found weapon with a noob tube. Nice touch. Um, yeah, these guys can just get by on you know, completely dominating the other team with gun skill and just basic, basic uh, tactics. So uh, we're watching enticing Daryl here. Like I said before, he's running some high kill streaks. He's running Blackbird, Chopper, and Dogs, I believe. Uh, the Blackbird is really more for his team than himself. People who are using the Blackbird for themselves will tend to, you know, in a situ situation like this, they'll tend to save it for their next death. So that when they come back to life, they can uh, build up their high kill streaks again. But he calls it in right away. Didn't really need it for himself, but it helps his, the rest of his team uh, build up their kill streaks, which overall contributes to the pub stomp more. He's got his dogs. He, they're running around right now. His Blackbird is up. The Chopper is up. Really, it's already a complete disaster for the other team. And this guy uh, isn't a chopper often enough that he's really getting quite good at it. Uh, you know, he gets lots of kills. The other team is trying to shoot him down. Uh, and they do eventually succeed, but he uh, he gets quite a bit done in the meantime. So uh, I met this team, which button is shoot, through uh, kind of indirectly through uh, Huppet Gaming, which is uh, the forum that uh, Woody's Gamertag put together to try to well, try to help unite players into teams. That's what it stands for, GPT. And uh, you know, I met a lot of uh, a lot of my best friends through there. A lot of my my gaming friends that uh, I play with all the time now. And uh, it really helped me build a network. If you're struggling to find players, you know, good players to fill out your teams and want to start going around with a with a party, I really recommend going to Huppet Gaming. That's how I found these guys, and it's uh, absolutely worth it. Um, I want to give it a sh give a shout out to Padawan93. He's the leader of this uh, this clan. Right now he's not able to play. He's having some some issues, not able to get to his PlayStation. But uh, that man is. I I'm, I'm gonna go out there and say it. He might be the the best all round player I've ever met. Not to take anything away from Daryl here, who is quite the beast on his own. Actually, uh, he's realized now that he's run out of kill streaks, so he just kind of throws that C4 and blows himself up since nobody else is going to kill him so that he can get his kill streaks back. That's that's just cocky. I love it. Alpha secure. And you can see here Daryl is uh, no slouch either. He's rocking a, you know, 14th prestige gold weapon. So, uh, you know, these guys are just insane. But I'm going to be pretty soon bringing you uh, a little mini series I'm going to call the Padawan files. Before he uh, lost access to his PlayStation, Padawan put uh, a bunch of stuff in his file share. And I've watched a few of them. They're just jaw-dropping. So uh, there's more montage material, short short clips. Uh, I think there's a few full gameplays in there too. But uh, I'm going to start bringing those to you kind of over the next week or two, here and there. And uh, it's just a lot of fun to watch somebody go to town on players who aren't even all that bad to begin with. Uh, WBIS is actually based out of the UK. Almost all the players are from Great Britain. It. Um, so these guys have got some sexy, sexy accents on them. Even when they're swearing, it's pretty sexy sounding. These lucky bastards. Uh, but playing with a team in England is not always uh, not always a walk in the park, because the lag can get to be a real issue, depending on who the host is. If it's a UK host or an American host or a Canadian host, in my case, it really affects who's got two bars, three bars, and four bars. It's really rare that you get everybody on four bars, or even everybody on four and three bars. Um, the other major complicating factor is uh, is the time zone issue. You know, I end up playing with these guys a lot more on the weekends than during the week because it's just really hard, uh, you know, with them six hours ahead of us to be able to get online and play at the same time. By the time I'm getting online, they're getting ready to go to bed. Unfortunately, a lot of these guys are night owls, so it kind of works out for me. But still, makes it a little tough. 
So I don't know if you've been noticing, but uh, Daryl here, once he runs up his kill streaks, he's not, uh, I don't know, sitting there trying to build up the largest kill streak he can. He's trying to get as many kills as he can, so he goes and throws C4 and blows himself up and intentionally runs into claymores and a bunch of other ridiculous stuff to find ways of killing himself uh, in YouTube-friendly ways. I gotta say, nice touch. I, I appreciate that, Daryl. It's pretty freaking funny. If you've played Domination on this map before, actually most game modes on this map, you know that uh, I call this building Big Blue. I don't know what it's, what the MLG pros will call it, but yeah, whenever you hear me talking about Big Blue, this is the uh, you know top blue or whatever. This is the building I'm talking about. If you can control this building the way Daryl is doing right now, you uh, you will win. It's as simple as that, really. You have a good line of sight over just about everything that matters. Really, the only exception is the C flag. But you can control A and B, which is enough to win. Uh, capture the flag, you've got uh, you know, a pretty good view of almost all the flag routes the enemy can take uh, from, both, from both sides. So it's really a, you know, a dominant position on this map with lots of cover and the ability to escape death. How many blackbirds? Is that the third blackbird? This is just unfair. I mean, even if only two of them in the game, they're completely dominating. Dogs waiting for your mark. <laughs> What's that score right now? 50 and 2. Not too bad. And at least one of those deaths was intentional. A little more Healy action here. I'm not speeding it up this time. He's uh, he's good enough with it that I thought I actually found it kind of interesting to watch. His use of zoom. Um, wasting a lot of time. Everybody speeds it up these days, but if, occasionally I just want to watch one. This, I think, is the only unsped up chopper gunner on my channel. So I found out the other day, I am in fact not the oldest guy I play with. i got to make a correction from one of my earlier commentaries, where I said I was the oldest guy I play with all the time, except maybe Fets. That's not true. I actually, uh, the, the other day, you know, some of my, some of the guys I play with are subscribers on this channel, and they told me, uh, you know, you're not the oldest guy. Really, so I went and met them in the lobby the other day and found out that I actually play with a couple of guys that I had no idea are in their 40s. So, uh, you know, I was kind of getting a, a hint on that. When you're running a YouTube channel, yeah, see, so he just went and laid on that claymore so he could get an intentional death. What a clown. Anyway, uh, found out I'm not the oldest guy. The other, uh, I was looking at the YouTube Insight tab, which allows you to see kind of the demographics of people who are watching your videos, and I was really surprised to see that there's like there's a lot of people over the age of 35 watching these videos. There's a lot of people over the age of 50, for that matter. I had no idea. Hey, guys, welcome. Now, I felt old at 31, but uh, way to go, guys. I feel a lot better now. I'd be interested to know. Do you guys, are you guys actually playing the game? Are you just watching? or you know, Are you people that I know? Anyway, yeah, feeling a lot better about that. <laughs> just realizing now I might be pissing some people off with all that. But uh, I mean it in the nicest way possible. Daryl, I believe, is around uh, 20 years old. I'm not sure exactly. Padawan's young, even younger at 17. It's amazing how these lobbies are kind of great equalizers. It doesn't really matter how old you are. Once you get in these games, you're all playing the same game the same way. You're uh, competing on your merits alone. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a refreshing thing. Before I started playing this, uh, Call of Duty, I wasn't. Uh, I was talking most of the people my own age, and it was kind of nice to branch out and talk to a wider range of people. Here we are, chopper gunner number three. Friendly care package on the way. Hostile RCXD spotted in Shouldn't come area. as a surprise that this ends up being a, uh, a very beastly score for uh, my friend Daryl. It could have been even, even higher, Friendly except for the fact the that um, you know his team is triple capping and going straight for the prize. If they really dragged it out, uh, kind of demolition style, they could have given him a little bit more time to get some more kills. There you go. Final Good score, work. 83 to 3. Uh, way to go, Daryl. That's some, some great gameplay. Big shout out to WBIS. Um, you know, we'll see if we can get some game battles going here soon. Talk to you later, guys.